Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Nat Walsh. I have a pre-made by me background. That's going to be my bit of my theme for this month. So this background is just made out of watercolor and just I've raised the um, the panel that I'm working on and just did a little bit of a soft muted, muted background with some green paint we're going to use that today so we've got a little bit of an underwater scene happening here um i like the idea of it being green even though that's not really the best type of green for water but anywho i've got the happy birthday border die and mermaid magic and die stamp set this it was a relatively quick and simple little card to make. I'm going to stamp these down with some Copic Safe ink. And I'm going to keep with the green theme. I'm going to make a little shaker card. So this, this is a pretty, if you haven't tried this technique yet, which sort of went around, was it last year? I can't quite remember, but it's, it's really easy and super fun and it's just it's just simple the Copics that we're going to be using today are G99 G94 and G92 and the dots that we've just done on the seahorse and the little little fishy were YG97 for a contrast in green, we're going to use G94 and, sorry, G43 and G40. Just so we're keeping with a nice, it's just a soft little combination of green. I'm trying to keep the colouring relatively simple. We're going to do have a little bit of fun with our seahorse. I'm just trying to go around his outer edges just to give it a feel of that it's rounded. He's only a little tiny image, so don't don't worry too much. Don't fuss around with him too much. I'm trying to keep a center highlight, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do with the little fishies as well. I'm going to use what they call a stippling technique, which is where we're just going to give our little seahorse a little bit more texture with making very, very tiny dots. Now you need to, if you had the sketch markers, if you had the dots on the fine tip, like if you removed the chisel tip and added a fine tip, which I've done to quite a few of mine, not all of them, but quite a few ones that I, I decided I needed it. And then it makes it very, very easy. With the brush tip, you need to be a little bit more careful and make sure it's very, the pen is very upright and very, very soft little dots. Now I'm trying to keep it at an angle here only because you're trying to watch. But I am very, very lightly, lightly going over and just giving some dots in the darker area. And then I'm going to go through with my G94 and do the same and just sort of in the darker areas and we're going to go through in with our G82 and do the same. My other two fishies are just going to have the lighter combination that we talked about beforehand and the fin of my seahorse is going to have the same combination but it's just two colors so we're just keeping it very very simple very very simple indeed and as i said this is going to be a shaker mix so my some of my fish are going to be very very hidden because i'm not going to put too much of a shaker material in this because it isn't very you don't have an awful lot of uh, what's the word? There's no walls to this. It's going to go flat underneath the back of the panel. So there's no height to it. So you can't fill it up too much and have a lot of bulk. So 
some of my fishies are going to be a little bit hidden at times depending on how much you shake a cup so it still moves I don't know whether you can hear that can you hear that it's very very soft but it still moves and but sometimes you know you're going to have a little bit of glitter over things I've cut these out with the dies. Now I'm not that great with the dies. I did have to do a little bit of work and I had I wanted to trim out the center of my seahorse. Cuz I wanted him as you can see there to sort of wrap around like seahorses do with they they hold on to you know they hold on to things just trying to put a little bit of glue just to make him stick a little bit better onto my strip of happy birthday add a little bit of glue I'm not worrying about it too much I'm going to try and get this little baby adhered down and then we'll go back through and change it around I'm using the lines on my grid just to make sure it's nice and straight glue the rest of my seahorse down and we'll worry about the letters a little bit later on I think I do sort of try and think about it but it's too much my happy birthday I'm going to glue it down the same way I've adhered a little fish in behind my happy but my next little fish is just going to be sort of a little bit lower on my birthday he's not going to be hidden I thought it was very cute just to have him sort of peeking out from behind the happy birthday again using my grid lines just to try and help me make sure that birthday is nice and straight this is where we'll go in and I was a little bit too soon with adhering my letters down I'm mostly dealing with the edges of my letters of my P's and my A's glue my little my little fishy down so it's relatively simple shaker cards in this made in this particular way are very very easy if you make it in the more traditional way shall we say it's a little bit complex but this and it doesn't add any more bulk now I've got my little tittle so I'm using some leftover from the die cutting of my birthday and using that as a guide of where to put my little tittle and that's that's sort of the foundation of the card now I've got a I've got my little clear sequins, my clear crystal drops. I'm going to glue some of those down to the backing. So when we have, we do shake a little shaker card around. We do have a little bit that will stay up the top just for a little bit of, a little bit of fun, a little bit of extra interest in, just on our card. With the easiest thing I find with doing these shaker cards is just using packaging out of my old stamps which I I put my stamps and my dies into other packaging and specifically if it's if it has dies that's how if that's how I'm going to store it sort of thing so I've got this sheet now I'm going to do it, oops, here. I do figure out my way around it sort of thing, but you may end up being yelling at your screen. I do work it out, but it does take me a little while. I don't have a lot of room on the sides of this panel, but I don't care. That's all good. It's going to work just fine because we're going to make sure it's nice and firmly stuck down. I've got extra wide tape. Do you need this wide? No. Was it the first thing that... I could put my hands on yes so that's what we're going to go with turn him over put him down on the plastic and can we figure out what I'm doing wrong I haven't not yet and that's where I just figured out I'm totally like I'm doing something weird here so we've only got a tiny little bit but we're going to push that over into the tape I'm also going to, when I adhere onto the card base, that's going to sort of cover that 
or the extra stick and also help it make sure that it doesn't come apart even more a little bit of tape well a good chunk of tape on the top and the bottom I'm going to take that backing off and just try and fold it down now you do end up with little corners I'm going to trim him off that's not going to change how our design sits I'm using a little bit of glitter out of my stash getting it over my table all good I don't have an awful lot of uh, shake and mix that are currently available but this one is an older one that we've used called gem flakes so he's a little bit older so I do apologize for that but I wanted to something not very colorful and just nice and simple to go with my card so that's pretty much my card all I really need to do now is stick him down onto my card base we're gonna raise him up with a little bit of foam and that is it so it's honestly it's a really simple way to make shaker cards and sometimes that's the best thing isn't it when you have really really simple ideas you go why didn't I think about, about that sooner but that is my card for today I hope you're well if you liked what you saw today hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and leave us a little comment of love down the bottom and I will talk to you very very soon take care bye